Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Von Walker here with Underground Rail with my segment. First and foremost, um, I usually do uh, two to three different uh, current events um, when we record on Mondays. However, today I'm going to go ahead and give a little bit more time to just one. Um, we got DMX, uh, a fan favorite, uh, a rapper from Yonkers, New York, uh, where I'm from. So it's, this is kind of hitting home, man. He's not doing too well. Um, he's in the hospital right now and it's, 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 it's kind of a messy, it's, it's messed up situation because he's been battling with, uh, addiction for a long time and it seems like he was really trying. Um, but at this point he, obviously he relapsed and, you know, this wasn't the best, um, situation for him. It's unfortunate. And I'm, I'm a little hurt by that because I'm not really, I don't really get invested in celebrities like that, but when it comes to DMX, him being from where I'm from, where I was born at, and him getting so much love there and and um, inspired a lot of people from the area, it's kind of it's kind of messed up. It, 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 it's 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 you know it's it's it, it's kid it's hitting home a little bit. Um, I you know I I seen some information where he was recovering, breathing on his own, and things like that. But then that was retracted, that was misreported. So he's still not doing well. Um, we hope that that somehow he can pull through. But as of right now, it isn't looking good, and it's 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 it's, it's kind of foul. So, but I don't want to put too much time on that because it's uh it's kind of a uh, depressing, at least for me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back to the topic that we were talking about last week, um, which isn't as, it's not a positive, it's not a positive topic. It's, it's, it's more of a, we need to have the discussion topic. And what we were talking about last week was, uh, the stereotype of, our, uh, <laughs> The stereotype of the mad black woman, and that that topic's been talked talked about a lot. Um, there's some truth to it, and then there's just some some stereotype to it. You know, um, you know, I, I feel like when it comes to the, the whole angry black woman thing, I think a lot of black women are, are, grow up in environments where they kind of have to be super aggressive. Let's be real about it. A lot of a lot of black women within the U.S. grow up in really rough areas. So it makes sense that they're a little bit more aggressive than other groups of women. Let's just be real about it. You know, there's, they, they don't have the luxury of being super feminine because in those areas, being super feminine doesn't really uh, 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 it doesn't give you the safety that you that you that you're expecting as a woman in other areas like with white women or with uh Asian women, they're, they're, they're in areas and environments where they don't have to be super aggressive. The dad is home, things like that. They, they, they're not dealing with, uh, um, in some cases, extreme poverty within this country. You know, that's, that's not to say that that's not the case in their, in their communities, but it just seems like it's a lot more prevalent within the black community. So I understand why black women would, would, would be a lot more aggressive than other, other groups of women. And that's something that we as a people need to work on. So I want to acknowledge that first off, off top. Um, however, there are black women who, there's a group of black women that perpetuate that stereotype within our media you know if you look on a lot of our media uh daytime talk shows or uh, love and hip-hop or some movies a lot of black women are really psyched or they seem to be really interested in playing those types of roles which is perpetuating the stereotype of the mad black woman i mean let's be real about it look at your favorite movie look at your favorite tv show right you know for the last like five ten years been loving hip-hop whatever city and you have, they are going at each other, at each other's throat. You got real housewives, even though none of them are married. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is they, they, they're going at each other, they're angry, they're super aggressive, and it gets ratings. So with that being said, you know, a lot of black women see, okay, well, I can just be crazy. I can be ar uh, aggressive. I can be the mad black person, and I'll get a check for it. And these platforms that are not owned by black people, uh, we have to acknowledge that they're not owned by black people. They are, uh, more than happy to get a few black women to be ridiculous on camera to, um, 
get those ratings up and sell that advertisement space. Um, so there's so there is a uh, there is a, a little bit of the environment that black women have 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 grown up in without their fathers in 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 uh in their life um due to a variety of uh uh situations a variety of uh reasons why that is um couple that with also watching tv and seeing that kind of aggression from women being rewarded with checks and fame you know, as black women, y'all kind of contribute to it. Let's be real about it. You know, yeah, you may have, you may, it may, didn't start off that way with you being born and growing up in the, in a particular environment, but you see it on TV, you're going to continue to follow it. And the most powerful weapon right now is media. That's a fact. Um, this is some of the stuff I wanted to talk to last week. Uh, but we didn't have a whole lot of time when it came to that. Um, but I hope this is a little bit thought provoking. I know um, this is a topic that can get real sensitive, especially for black women, because black women don't like to be labeled as that. Uh, but like I said, some of some some black women do embrace it in order to be able to cut a check. And um, again, you know, the whole community bears some fault to that, men included. Um, but at the end of the day, women, you do have control over what kind of role you play within our media. Um, you don't have to be the mad bl black woman. You don't have to throw drinks. You don't have to fight people. You don't have to be loud. You don't have to be super aggressive. You, you know, you, once you get to a point um, of success, you got to be able to turn that off. And I think uh, a lot of black women just don't know how to, how to turn it off. Um, um, yeah, man, I think that's about it. I don't think I want to go any further into it. Um, Again, this is definitely a, 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 a discussion that needs to be had in more depth uh, with a lot more people that are a lot more experienced uh, when it comes to uh, psychology and things like that. I'm not a psychologist. I just see things for what it is. I'm a realist. And when I walk outside, what I see is what I see. Um, but a psychologist is trained to actually dig deeper and really figure out the nitty gritty of things. And... Um, yeah, it's the reason why we are promoting uh, a mental health within the black community because we really need it. But anyway, this has been Von Walker with my segment this week and kind of an extension of my thoughts when it, can, when it comes to the, uh, the topic that we had last week with the angry black woman. I hope we can do more topics like this and actually open the discussion um, for the community. We really do need it. Um, but yeah, Von Walker and I'm signing off. Deuces.